Um, I hope it must be must be good to be back after a frustrating start to the season for you. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, obviously, getting injured the week before the season starts is isn't good. You know what I mean? Um, especially when obviously you prepared, obviously done all the hard work of pre-season. Um, well, not really because it's fair. They're saying that I got injured in pre-season as well, so I missed two weeks of pre-season. So, um, yeah, it's obviously frustrating, but yeah, good to be back now. What was it? Was it a quad injury in pre-season? Was it? A, a, or yeah, I did my hamstring. Uh, against, I think it was Ponte who played in that game. Um, and then I did, and then it was my quad, yeah. The second one, the one that I was out for four weeks for, just before the start of the season, that was my quad, yeah. Yeah. You had to watch, especially how, how did you make, because Will had an amazing start to the season while you were out and was doing well with Seb, wasn't he? So it was, what was it like mm -hmm. watching that? And obviously, it's, it's good to see the team doing well, to be honest. You know what I mean? Obviously, that's the main thing. Like, the team obviously getting a good start. Um, Will obviously getting the goals in. Seb was playing really well. You know, and the team as a whole, you know, was doing well. Do you know what I mean? So, it's good to see. You, um, I mean, you, you're you all competitive strikers, aren't you? So, it's one of those where, you you know, you, you and Will, you, could you have a battle for the golden boot, the county golden boot this season? Is that the, the hope? Uh, maybe for the hope for him, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome, <isn't> it? <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's it. That's his hope. You know what I mean, but yeah, to be honest, everyone just knows me. I'm just about scoring goals. So, yeah, you know I mean, I'll see in terms of how many I score is. I know how good I am, so I don't really put a limit on it. I just know that I can score goals. Um, and I think, especially this year as well, where we're up to the players we've got, how the gaff has got us working, we created a lot more chances than we even did last year. So, you know what I mean, I feel like. Last year, I scored quite a few goals, but that was, you know, we didn't really create that many chances. It wasn't a team that created a lot of chances, whereas this year, um, we're creating a lot more chances going forward. So, you know, I'd like to think I'll, you know, I'll get even more chances to score even more goals, you know what I mean? Do you feel you're back to full sharpness yet, or are you still still working? You know, you feel you're there now and back to them? Yeah, I feel like I'm, yeah, I don't feel like I'm far off. I think obviously it's difficult, like I said, Pre-season for me, it was broken up anyway. I didn't get a full pre-season initially because I got injured two weeks in. Then I come back for four days. Um, in that four days, I played, had some minutes against Torquay. Um, no, Yorgo, sorry. And then two days later, I got injured. So, and I missed four and a half weeks. So, yeah, I feel like I'm still getting, getting the match fitness and you know, getting my general fitness up. But, you know, I don't feel like I'm far off. To be fair, I worked really hard um, while I was injured, um, doing what I could do fitness-wise, and I've worked hard since I've come back. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting that in the next two weeks, week or so, I'll be definitely back to back to my best and back to my fittest. As a, as a group, I'd imagine you're all keen to get back out there after last week's disappointment. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> In terms of those things kind of happen in football, we don't want it to happen very often. We don't want it to happen again, to be honest. But it's frustrating because normally when you play Saturday, Tuesday, you got you know the quick turnaround so you can kind of make it right. Um, but Saturday, Saturday, we've had to just be patient. We've had to, you know, we've had to live and live with what, what what we did last week and what we didn't do. Um, work on it this week, and you know we've definitely got to respond. Um, we've got a great chance to respond tomorrow. Um, and listen, we've been preparing all week for it, so you know we've got to, we've got to take the opportunity to you know to really respond and you know give the fact give the sport something to, to cheer about. You know what I mean, we can because we do then have a period where it's, you go Tuesday again, Saturday again. So it's an opportunity to build some momentum here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You, you know, it's like in in any league really, but let's just say obviously keep it relative. You know, you play three games in a week and you get three wins, the table changes all of a sudden, do you know what I mean? The table can change really quickly and the momentum can really switch when you, you know, if you get, if you get, you know, two, three good, good results on, on the bounce. So, you know, that's what we got to do. We got to just take each game as it, as it comes, we take Saturday and then, do you know what I mean? We do what we need to do and, you know, try and get the three points. They're a good team, a really good team. So we know what to expect from them. We've just got to just focus on ourselves and, you know, do what we can and do what we need to do to get the three points. Um, I think you're wearing the new third kit um, tomorrow, and it's a, it's a new one for the opposition defenders to to rip off you. 
Honestly, I just, I literally just don't know. I don't know. It's just the every game, even before games now, I try and speak to the referee just before the game. Say, ref, can you just have a little look out for, you know what I mean? And it makes no difference. But, you know, if I touch somebody, they'll give a free kick. They'll, they'll, they won't hesitate to give a free kick against me. But, you know, I mean, my shirt can be hanging up, you know, on my head. And it's just, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I guess it's, it's, you've got to get on with it, do you know what I mean? You've got to just get on with it, I suppose. Okay. You, you, you've um, you know, this summer you, you, you're entering the music industry, aren't you? You're sort of uh, doing bits and bobs. What's that? What's the? What are you doing there? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's just something I've been um, yeah, it's just something I've been building, building up with. Um, I've been recording music now for about two years. Um, I haven't really released anything official in terms of official songs, but I've literally got probably made over seventy songs in the last two years. Um, so it's something that, yeah, it's just, it's a passion of mine, you know what I mean? And it's something that, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to take up while I'm playing and, you know, after I'm playing. Is it good to have something else away from football at times? Yeah, you, you need to be able to switch off and do other passions, I guess. Yeah, for, yeah, definitely. Um, and I think, obviously, in, in, the, in the kind of environments that we're in and this industry, there is so much you can be doing in your spare time. If we're going to be honest, you can be doing all kinds of things in your spare time. Um, as a footballer, but you know, for me, it's just all about focusing on football, being the best I can, and obviously with music, it's something that doesn't take away from football. It doesn't take away from me physically or mentally. So, if anything, it helps me. So, yeah, that's I kind of just literally just invest my invest my spare time into that. Really, plenty of years of football left in you yet, though, haven't we? <laughs> ah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Plenty of years of football, plenty of goals, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully, some more promotions. All good. I let let others go. Yeah, just yeah. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Morning, Omar. How are you doing? Morning, Omar. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Um, just to follow up on Chris's question on on the music situation there, I think Gareth Bale always got criticised for playing golf, but he always said it was the best thing for him because it kept him in a good frame of mind. Is is that kind of like the same thing for you having that to focus on with your music? Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I think you know, just having something. Obviously, for years, because, you know, I've invested so much into football mentally and physically and emotionally, it's like I would literally play, play when things didn't go how I planned them to or I had a bad game on a Saturday or I didn't score, I literally would eat away from me for, for days, literally for days, probably up until I played the next game. And it would affect my general well-being, it would affect people around me. Um, but, you know, also with music, it's kind of therapeutic to me, so... Um, yeah, like I said to, say to Chris, in my spare time, I'll just write music and I'll go to the studio and I'll go and record. And yeah, it takes my way, it takes my mind away from, away from football, do you know what I mean? And gives me something else to focus on. Yeah, well, best of luck with that, obviously. Um, but just coming back to the, the, the question Chris was asking you in terms of your, your goal target, you know, you, you're getting lots of chances now. Obviously, naturally, to beat last season's tally would be tough because you've already missed a, a good chunk of games. But, you know, what, what is your sort of target this year? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're talking about match of goals telly. Yeah, I guess to be fair, I got, I got asked this last year, and to be fair, I don't actually tell anyone. Everyone always asks me like what it is, and to be fair, it's just something I've never really, I've never really told anyone. And to be fair, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I actually have one. And that's me being honest. I don't think I have one. And I'll say to Chris, like I genuinely, I I believe my ability, and I know how good I am. So I just know that in terms of goals, it's limitless really for me. And I think even in, especially even in the team that I'm in. The chance that we that we create, I think I can. I mean, I can often score loads of goals. I don't really actually have a target to be honest. I mean, I might have a ballpark in terms of what I know is the minimum of what I should, what I believe I should get, I should score. But in terms of the ceiling, you know, I mean, I don't, I, just, I don't have one. Yeah, fair enough. And just in terms of the, the sort of squad as a whole, really, what do you think the aim is for? For this season, what would be a good season? Do you think for Newport County? Well, first and foremost, a good season would be to better what we did last year. First and foremost, um, and then as a squad, in terms of obviously everyone wants to get everyone wants to be in the playoffs, everyone wants to get promoted. So I'm sure you know every single team in the league start of the season would have been setting out to get in the playoffs to get a promotion. And I don't, and we're no different. Um, the gaffers recruited well under the circumstances and 
he's worked really hard with us, and worked really, really well with us to bring us to elevate us on from where we were last year. And we are a much better team than last year, even though we've lost big players. So, you know, we all believe that we can achieve something this year. And like I said, just like every other team, we want to be in the playoffs. We want to be up there challenging. So, yeah, we're just going to keep working towards that. Yeah, of course. And then just had a question from Rob. I think it sounds a little bit dodgy, but he's asked me um, if you can ask, what sort of music do you write and do you ever sing to the team? <laughs> um, to be fair, I just kind of do rap music, to be fair. I actually rap. Um, and in terms of the boys trying to get me to do sometimes, you know what I mean, to mess around. Because they, they, they like putting me on the spot, you see. But um, yeah, I, I just say no. I just get Because believe it or not, I get quite nervous and I get quite shy, to be fair. So yeah, I don't do it. Well, I certainly don't believe you get shy because you don't look it on the pitch anyway. Um, <laughs> just lastly from me, Omar, um, a question on one of your former clubs, really, Cardiff. They've had a bit of a turnaround recently with everything that's changed there. Aaron Ramsey being back, there's a feel-good back there. Do you, do you still keep an eye on, on, on them and any sort of friends that you still keep in touch with at Cardiff? Yeah, for sure. I've got a few friends there. Um, there's obviously a lot of the players that was... Everyone that was there when I was there, they're not there besides Joe Rawls. So, you know, Rousey, I'll speak to Rousey from time to time. I've got a uh, friend, Romain Sawyers, he's there. So, yeah, I still look out for their results. Um, I still look out for majority, the majority of the teams that I've played for. Uh, I look out for their results, you know what I mean, and see if, they, see if they're doing well, you know, and see how they're doing, to be fair. Top man. Omar, thanks for your time. Best luck for tomorrow. Cheers, Omar. Thank you.